Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have something very different, something I've never done before. We're here at Red Mountain, but on the south layout. Uh, I have not played here in a very long time, but we have something different and a very cool challenge that I think will make playing this course a little bit more fun. <laughs> if you don't know, AB makes YouTube videos. Anthony Borelli, he's one of the best players in the world. And I watched one of his videos recently it was him playing this layout, but with a 10 stroke difference on one of his friends, Swan, I believe. That gave me motivation to come back out here. I haven't played this course in a very long time. It's a pretty difficult layout, but honestly, it's just a lot of hyzer bombs, a lot of wide open shots. I feel like I needed something to help me out today to shoot a little better than what I've been shooting lately. Don't look at my PDGA number, it's really bad. <laughs> but I figured, why not come out to one of AB's home courses and only throw Anthony Barella discs? two of his midnight z awesome looking zones we've made quite a few videos on the channel with these and they are incredible and then next we have a very iconic disc on this channel it is the luna that came out somewhat recently this is a very rare putter but it's one of my favorites you've probably seen it all over the channel just like the zone you've actually probably seen the zone more i don't know how to feel about them yet because this is my first like for real round with these <laughs> these are the new like improved AB focuses. Uh, these are a lot more durable than the older ones I have that I actually have right here. I figured I'd just throw these in my bag, even though I'm not going to use them anymore. I might throw these a little bit. Um, but these are the older focuses, and these beat in so fast. This is the ESP Signature Buzz SS that they came out with, at, I think it was the end of last year. And I've been throwing this really well, but also a little off. So I don't plan to throw it too much today. We'll see how much I do end up throwing it. I have some Innova disc from his era over with Innova Disc and it is the T-Bird 3. Now these have been in my bag for a long time and they're still in my bag actually. They're probably the most consistent fairways I've ever had. So next we have two Diamondback ESP nukes. Now these are my permanent like long range distance driver. I might take the destroyer in for them but um, I might not even do that because these go so far and they're super consistent. And then the last disc we have is the Big Z 610 nuke. Now, I've thrown this quite a bit, but not enough, I think. Um, it's definitely a lot more stable than these normal Diamondback ESP nukes, but it actually goes like incredibly further. I can flex this out really far. All right, first up, we got hole one. This is a par four. It is 447 feet. They've changed this layout quite a bit recently, so we'll see what happens. ESP nuke, beautiful, goes super far. Get left. Miss the trees. Wow. That might be a good eagle chance. I did not mean to really run that as much as I did. But for someone like AB, this is an easy eagle, I think. I don't even think it should be a par four. I'm a B-Row. Ooh. Oh no, that's a tester now. That was pretty good though. There you go, there's one. I don't know which one was first, so I'm just gonna make both. There you go, good putt. All right, this is hole two. I've actually, this is a new tee pad. So, and a new hole. I don't think I've played this before. I think I played it once, but I'm gonna take my big Z nuke. Just try and spike it in there. Go, go and get right. Uh, I might be a little short. That's the one thing I hate about this course. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, sorry in advance. There's gonna be a lot of blind shots out here. There you go. Ride straight. Oh, that's so good. Skip. Might be a little short. That looked pretty good though. This towel is also going over my head. <laughs> it's that sweaty. <laughs> there you go. All right, this hole is so cool, but kind of difficult in a really weird way. There's a lot of OB, there's OB short. All those rocks are OB. A little inside, that could go in. Go! Okay, I don't think that's OB left. That was a pretty good run. Oh man. Woo. Come on, oh. All right, really fun hole here. You can actually do quite a bit. You can go up the middle, 
or you can go like a forehand on the left side or you can go even backhand like spike-ish. This is a perfect hole to showcase the Luna. I'm pretty sure AB would do this here too, so. <laughs> oh, I finessed that line perfectly. Just go. Okay, that's way short. <laughs> I had to go more dead straight, but that, that'll work. It'll just be a little tricky. There you go. Wow. Terrible putt, but it works. A little, f well, that was more of a flex, but that will work really well. Yeah, that's a good look. But the nuke landed right here. Easy birdie, that was a terrible putt. There you go. The spike hyzer. You can go with a big driver and spike it in, but I'm gonna go T-Bird and just try and like flip it up a little bit. Come on, now fade. That's way too straight. That was the right idea though. Get! Now that's where the skip is needed. Okay. Yes. For three. All right, pretty fun hole here. I wish there was like a straight up the middle type of gap, which there kind of is. It's just, you have to kind of baby flex it, which is not very consistent. So we're gonna go nuke on a forehand. There you go, put a little flex, get around. Yes, let's go. That's good, <laughs> I think. I don't, I don't miss, that's not a thing. All right, I think tournament rounds out here are like 13, 10 to 13 under is a really good range. You have to do that consistently. So, big Z nuke, a little hyzer. Just get in the left, that's all you really need. Oh, I didn't flip it enough, that's gonna be a, Probably like an upshot from there. There you go. Perfect. It says 360. This hole you can do quite a bit. Ooh, I finessed that on a really good hyzer. Just has to get left. Missed the tree. Oh, it hit it. I think that's a little short. I think the tree's short of the basket. That's gonna be a pretty weird putt. Interesting. All right, really good shot. This is pin high, which is crazy. I hit the tree that's there and it actually got really fortunate to skip. Really good birdie, especially it's my first time throwing the seabird today. And it's pretty much the same thing, just try and get out on that hyzer line and it should dump in. We're gonna use the same T-bird. Yeah, now fade. Ooh, ah, no. I think you got a little skip. I'm in the bushes on the right side. There's a lot of bush over there, so we'll see what we have, Adam. No clue. Oh, so bad. All right, next up, we got hole 12. I'm so tired. I know I've said it 5,000 times, but oh my God. Ah, okay. Really fun hole here. We're gonna try two little good runs. Got the nuke, ESP, Diamondback nuke, and then we have the big Z nuke. Pretty simple, I've aced this hole before, it's crazy. I'm gonna try and bomb this. Ah. Yeah, that just needs to go. Seems a little short. Whoa, never mind. Parks, <laughs> let's go. There you go, I like that height. Kind of, maybe a little short. Get down and go. Heck yeah, that'll work. All right, really good shooting here. That spike hyzer play is so consistent. It's scary, honestly. <laughs> Birdie's here. It's such a gettable ace. Like, I, I could do that so many times. All right, a very crazy hole here. This one is so far because the play I do here is go hyzer with a lot of drivers and just spike it in. Ooh, I like that. That had a really good like hyzer flare. Get left. Yes. I think it's a that's long. I think that's long by like 20, maybe. I'm fatigued. <laughs> oh god! AB's making this 20 out of 20 times. Ah! <laughs> no! Man, I'm so sweaty. All right, I haven't been doing U-Disc uh, consistently, so I think I might have done it wrong. I don't think I did. I think I got it right, but 
just in case, I'm sorry. It says we're eight down, which is really good. If I get two more birdies, that's kind of where you have to be during tournaments, so. Uh, that's a putt. I drew that up pretty short, though. We'll go from that. Guys, this was terrible, and I'm so sorry. I don't know why this is so short. I, like, early release it, and I don't know. <laughs> so this is going to be a pretty hard birdie. What the heck? This is the easiest birdie on this course, I think. It has to be. Yes. Come on! Oh, my God. Terrible shot. Good putt. 345 is what it says on Udis. If you see the tree that's way down there, it's literally to the left of that. So you kind of have to go off that. I don't want to keep throwing the T-Birds just for you guys, but I like that. Just get left and go a little short. Wow, that's really short. All right, actually a little closer than I thought. I think I was pretty right with the uh, 320 <laughs> estimate. Let's go, <laughs> it's so bad. Up on that hill way in the back. Back then it used to be in the par three position kind of over there which is pretty fun, honestly, but it's on the hill way down there. So it's a par four. And I'm gonna show you how far these go. I'm just gonna flex it out and this should be a pretty easy birdie. I'm not gonna eagle, there's no way. I'll try and get close. <laughs> we have a tailwind, uh-oh. I didn't give it the height. That's a good center shot though. Dang it. Uh-oh, oh yeah, that actually got, it's probably gonna be pretty open on that left side. All right, I'm actually gonna look up what the distance was. I never looked. <laughs> I just knew it was a par four. 504, oh, you can actually get there easily. I think I've gotten pretty close before. Come on, oh my God. Watch, you ready? Oh! <laughs> there you go. All right, <laughs> apparently we have two more holes, which actually makes sense now, but I thought that was the second to last hole. So two more. <laughs> Much better. Really good shot. Oh yeah, now fade in. Wow, that's so good. That's so good. Um, guys, I thought this was under the basket. Is this OB? I'm gonna play it as safe. Let me know in the comments if you played here and you know if this is OB or not. Cause it's like a different rock, but it's not like defined. So I'm gonna play it as safe. Don't hate me, okay? A little early. Ooh, good run though. It's a par four. It plays to where the original hole one basket was, um, but it's actually further out, but it's in that vicinity, so. Oh, I felt so good. Fade. We'll keep going and fade. Yes, oh wow, that got a crazy flare. And the pin is right there. If this wasn't here, I probably would have gotten inside 70, 80 of the pin. <sighs> get, okay, I think it got through. Oh, how am I gonna get this now? All right, so that was actually a really bad upshot. My God, dude, I'm gonna be in another tree. Ah, this one's spiky though. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, this is not gonna be fun. I have to get behind it somehow. Oh, that was so boring. Right, I'm sweaty, I'm dying. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We shot 11 down. Uh, we shot really well. There's a lot of this I actually didn't even throw in here. I have my focuses, which I never threw. Honestly, these are old, my putters. I didn't want to touch them, I'm gonna be real. This thing was awesome. Very much enjoy it. Awesome, AB, Macbeth collab, Luna. So we, we missed so many pretty easy birdies out there too. So there's a lot we have to correct, but 11 down, if I did the scoring right, I'm actually kind of questioning that. <laughs> I think obviously these AB Diamondback nukes, they came out super well. I remember I've owned like seven of these nukes and I've these are the only ones I have left, which is kind of unfortunate. Can you shut up? And I like it more because these have helped me so much on my journey to more distance and accuracy on those longer tee shots. So I'm really happy with this disc. The T-Bird 3 really did magic today. I know these aren't being made anymore and they're obviously from his Innova era, 
Um, but these are super key, really good discs. And they obviously were just dead straight arrows today and they go super far. So I know you can't get these anymore, but this these gave me AB power today on this course, that's for sure. First round here with these putters and they beat in really well. There's really no damage compared to these where these literally beat into what they look like now. But as soon as I started putting with them, like the first round I did, they look like that. I don't even know if you can see it, but they're damaged completely, really bad. These putters are actually showing some sort of durability. That's really what I wanted. This course is awesome. This is my shout out to AB. Uh, I'm actually challenging him to a 1v1. You don't have balls because I'm obviously the better golfer out here. I'm not, but I will challenge you if you're down. <laughs> you wanna come out here and play? Uh, that would be crazy, huh? Yeah, I'm done, I'm gonna go home. I need to shower. See you in the next one. Subscribe for more, by the way. <laughs> Forgot to say that.